Episodic vertigo and dizziness. Tinnitus, a ringing, or noises in one or both of your ears. The sound may be soft or loud, low or high pitched. Gait problems, postural instability, and drop attacks may accompany. Typically, only one ear is affected initially, but over time, both ears may become involved. Episodes of vertigo generally last from 20 minutes to a few hours. The time between episodes varies. The hearing loss and ringing in the ears can become constant over time. It is called Meniere's disease. The cause of Meniere's disease is unclear, but this is thought to occur due to the accumulation of endolymphatic fluid in the cochlea and the vestibular organ. Symptoms are believed to occur as the result of increased fluid buildup in the labyrinth of the inner ear. About 10% of cases have genetic basis. The prevalence of Meniere disease varies between 3.5 per 100.000. Risk factors include Middle to older age, white ethnicity, female sex, obesity, Migraine and some autoimmune diseases can be associated Meniere disease, including rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus erythematosus, and ankylosing spondylitis. Differential diagnosis. Other conditions that may produce similar symptoms include vestibular migraine and transient ischemic attack. Treatment. No cure is known. Low sodium diet and high water intake may prevent the release of vasopressin and help to maintain inner ear homeostasis. Restricts caffeine can be recommended. Caffeine can provoke modifications in the endolymph volume with its sympathomimetic action. Diuretics and corticosteroids may be effective. Among diuretics, the thiazide group can be a part of the medical treatment. Physical therapy may help with balance and counseling may help with anxiety. With beta histine orally can have some positive effect. Intratympanic steroid injections may reduce the number of vertigo attacks in patients with Meniere disease. Prognosis The number of episodes of vertigo is higher in the first years of the disease and decreases in later years regardless of whether patients receive treatment. As with vertigo, loss of hearing is highest in the early years of the disease and stabilizes in later years. Usually, there is no recovery from hearing loss. Complications In later stages of the pathology, patients may experience sudden unexpected drops without loss of consciousness to mark in attacks.